complete. Okay, we have the next steam vent open to where we could build another generator on it, which we're gonna need soon because we only have seven power left to play with. However, that is enough to theoretically build the foundry or most other buildings. It's not enough to build another uplink though, which is a concern. So yeah, we might be just saving up for thermo generator and whatnot, or we may have to sell more stuff for it. Let's see. Yeah, not quite yet, not quite yet. Contact detected. Okay, we have a scout UFO and also a bunch of planes that are not that have not been named yet. I need to fix that. Okay, shotgun midnight and mace are our new pilots. Contact detected. Gonna send up the people with avalanche missiles first. They're more effective against lightly armored UFOs like scouts. And all of the ones with avalanche missiles are brand new, so just gonna send you up in order. Bangs out. Here. Okay, you did some damage to it. Unfortunately, took some damage in return, but not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully, Midnight can finish it off. Contact it landed. Detected. Because of course it did. Well, the good news is that we could theoretically get more resources for this than we could if it, we had fully taken it out and it crashed. The bad news is there are going to be more aliens on this than there would have been if we'd been able to just take it out. Okay, light to moderate vegetation. Sometimes that's okay for snipers, sometimes it isn't. Probably going to take a fairly decent team here. Landed UFOs are not great. Even small ones. Okay, kind of surprised that Lou's back that quickly. Has it really been that long since that mission happened? I mean, yeah, no, most of the other ones are still fatigued. She just got a really good fatigue roll. Okay, if you want to come along on another mission that badly, I'm not going to argue. Let's see. Gonna take our one of our specialist engineers. Yeah, I think these last two spots are going to be specialists so that we have at least some lower ranked people gaining experience to help balance out the uh, corporal crew we have here. Okay, you're going to be carrying the motion tracker. You are going to be carrying the arc thrower. I'm gonna swap you to ceramic plating to help make up for the armor loss. And I think that about covers it. Oh, we can give you a scope now. So we're gonna do that. has arrived. The next deployment site is in the UK. 
Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Yeah, unfortunately, just damaging the UFO, as far as I know, doesn't do anything to reduce the numbers of aliens that will be on this mission. Kinda wish it did. That's affirmative. Although the upside to that is that it also doesn't reduce the loot. So we have three pods of aliens just directly in front of us. So everyone is going to creep forward Moving. carefully and hopefully we can get people into full cover. Okay, you have low profile so you can go here and it'll be full cover for you. We're good to move up at least that far, so if nobody has alerted anything after they've done their blue moves, I'm probably going to move our sniper just a little bit to try to get her into full cover somewhere. So I would also like our infantry to kind of be up front because we're gonna need her somewhere where she can shoot and she's gonna have to be closer than the sniper will have to be. Okay, so where do we want our sniper to end this turn? I'm gonna say right here, try to get into full cover so that if we see something next turn, they can shoot without me having to worry about moving them. And incoming floaters. Damn it! Okay, took one of them out with Overwatch and I think wounded a second one. And we've got Thin Men on the board somewhere, but they haven't been alerted yet. I just heard them. Okay, we need to try to get people into full cover if we can. Not much full cover to be had right now. Affirmative. Yeah, she can be in low cover. I really wish this rock wasn't here and I could just be behind this tree, but no such luck. gonna come up here might end up throwing a grenade okay found the thin men three thin men and a sectoid okay well then yeah gonna have to not do that move then because got to move you back because you are up too close and you will probably get flanked by those thin men or possibly the floaters because we're gonna have to split our attention now Really, 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 really wish there was more full cover around. I mean, here is an option, or maybe here, because then even if they come around the side, you at least have low cover. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Try to pick off those floaters. Okay, gonna put you here. Because even if we don't completely kill the floaters, you can at least suppress one of them. Oh, 
Also, seriously, why is this not cover? I get that there's like a little ramp next to it, but come on. Okay, who else do we have to move? We have you. I'm gonna move you over here to try to get you further away from the Thin Men. You're gonna take the spot that she was in because it's a corner spot. Yeah, okay, that, that works, that works. Okay. Now you, do I need to move you back? Unfortunately, probably. I'm on the move. Because those thin men might flank you if I don't. See if we can pick off the one that's at low health. Okay, got a lucky shot. Gonna have to start trying to remember to equip my uh, smoke and mirrors medics with a smoke grenade or a flashbang grenade. Just still getting used to some of them now having perks that let them use different equipment. Okay, gotta take one shot at you. Ooh, got a pretty lucky pick there. However, your second shot, you're going to overwatch because you have opportunist. We're going to suppress the floater because I'd rather her take that shot at a thin man that runs in. And our sniper, unfortunately, can't see anything from there. And I really don't want to come over here because I know that there was a third group somewhere. And the absolute last thing I need right now is to alert that. So it's going to be low cover, but you're going to be further back. And hopefully just in a position where you can see more stuff and you're going to steady your weapon. Okay, that one's going to try for a lucky shot. And it did not get it. Now we've got the Thin Men and one Sectoid. Okay, you were spitting acid on my scout. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to check if she has a med kit or if I took that away for the arc thrower. And so there are two other Thin Men somewhere that are probably overwatching. Oh no, that is the engineer. So you definitely don't have a med kit. So you cannot move. Okay, scout's gonna come up here. Yep, one of the thin men was overwatching, but we've got the scout running. So we're fine. Now, of course, there's still one thin man somewhere that we can't see that could still maybe theoretically hit the engineer if I tried to move him. Also, the engineer's in pretty decent cover. And if I move, they're gonna take acid damage. So I'm just gonna have him hunker down. Now, let's see if we can get another lucky shot on this floater and just pick it off. Good job, infantry. Got him. All right, you're gonna use your second action to overwatch again in case some thin men run up. Scout has some lines of sight, including on that sectoid. We're just going to see if we can pick it off or at least wound it because it could still do something nasty with its psionic abilities. You're going to try for a shot on that Thin Men in low cover, though, because overall they're still bigger threats. Damn it. The target. No luck there. I'm on the move. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Trying to just scoot people over here to start dealing with these things. Really wish I'd remembered those smoke grenades. That Those could have been useful right about now. Rusham. Okay, 
Okay, one thin man overwatching. That one's going for a shot on the scout. Didn't get it. There's the third thin man. He's overwatching, so all the thin men have been accounted for. And Sectoid's gonna overwatch. Let's see what we can do with this situation. Now, I can try to have the scout move. That's gonna be three overwatch shots. Not ideal, even for a scout. Remember that lightning reflexes is gonna be less effective on shots two and three than it will be on shot one. So if we could either pick one of them off or at least weaken them, that would help. So I'm gonna have the sniper go for one of the thin men that's overwatching that happens to be in low cover. Okay, wounded him. That'll make it at least less accurate. Of course, the engineer is still in a bad spot because they're covered in acid and the thin men are getting in close now. definitely try to have the scout move. I mean, two of the ones taking overwatch are going to be wounded. The only one that's really scary is that one, and I'm kind of hoping maybe it would trigger first, but I don't know that for sure. But yeah, I, I really don't want to leave you there. Solid copy. Okay. Okay, good. Sectoid and the full health thin men missed. I don't know if she's going to actually trigger the thin men that was in the back. Okay, she's going to use hollow targeting on that full health thin men that's in the... Oh, or just get a critical on it. That was, ex that was incredibly lucky. That was like, what, maybe a 2% chance? Once you factor in the critical? Okay. That helped. I don't want to risk running the medic up to here. While I'd love to get you into full cover, that thin man that's in the very back that is still overwatching might get you if I try to move you up that far. However, I think we can scoot the gunner over here. I think we're going to have this medic hunker down. And what we're going to do is we're going to move some people, again, just kind of scooting people over here to get them into a position to start shooting things. And they're not going to be in sight of the Thin Men immediately. So if they run up, hopefully they just shoot them. And the engineer just has to hunker down. Still covered in acid. Okay, the full health thin men took a shot from Overwatch. Oh. And then got a 13% shot on us. That's not good. Sectoid decided to just Overwatch, and I don't know what the other thin men in the back is doing. Okay, who got hit? Gunner. That was unlucky. However, considering the incredible luck that we got with that critical shot a moment ago. I don't think I'm in a position to complain too much. Okay, gonna have the scout run forward again. Take away that overwatch the sectoid's doing. Incoming fire. Okay, we have eyes on the thin men in back and it is still overwatching, but it didn't trigger. Let's see if our scout can take care of that one. Or not scout, sniper. No such luck. Enemy is still alive. Yeah, the scout's out of ammo, so... However, that one's all the way in the back, so we're safe to move as long as we don't run up. Don't so the medic is going to... 
go back to the gunner and heal them up a bit. Try to get them out of one-shot territory. And Engineer is still covered with acid. Okay, the gunner is going to scoot over into full cover. And it's probably going to just suppress that thin men that's up front in full cover, because I really don't want it getting any closer to us. I'm running low on ammo. Is that something dead? That's affirmative. You're gonna hunker down before I forget and have you move or something. You're gonna reload your gun. That leaves these two. Okay, you're gonna try to pick off the sectoid. And get it. What is with the medics and hitting these 30 some percent shots today? I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. Let's see if we can get an equally lucky shot on the Thin Man. No such luck. I'll get him next time. Están retrocediendo. I'm under fire. Okay, can the sniper please finally pick off this Thin Man? Nope. Luck only going to the medics right now. Okay, you're gonna run up a little bit. Worst case, I suppress the thin men that's closest. I'm taking fire! Okay, the engineer can finally actually move. Okay, where's the gunner? And they actually don't have enough ammo to suppress, so no, I actually need to be a bit more careful. I'm on it, Commander. I'm gonna move you up just a little. You're going to reload your gun, probably. Yeah, you don't have hollow targeting yet, so... Just reload your gun so you can start suppressing again soon. It's a little bit risky. But I'm gonna have the scout shoot at the thin man that's closest to get hollow targeting on it. Or just kill it. Okay. With a critical, no less. Not that we needed one that time. Boy. Trying to pick off the last thin men, not really having any luck so far. Going to set up some overwatch a little further back so that if it runs forward, hopefully one of them hits it. Or it can just run away, that too. Okay, it moved twice. And I heard something moving around the UFO. And I'm also hearing more Thin Men, so I'm going to assume more Thin Men are in the UFO, along with an outsider. Moving out. Okay, Scout's got eyes on the Thin Man. Let's see who all we can get up there. Looking 
That's affirmative. Zaraz będę na miejscu. Aye, aye, Commander. We need to take a moment since we have two medics on this that have five med kits apiece. Gonna go ahead and just heal that last bit of health you're missing. You're going to reload your gun. Sniper, unfortunately, does not have a line of sight. On my way. Now you do, but of course you can't shoot yet, so you're just gonna reload your gun. You're going to get hollow targeting on this thing. And also wound it even further. So now it's down to one health. You're going to reload your gun. You're going to try to finish this thing off. Good job. Let's try to get into cover relative to the UFO now, because I have a feeling that more aliens are probably going to be coming from somewhere over near it. Solid copy. They don't have eggs. Okay. Jestem w drodze. Stepping off. Headed there now. Yeah, they're over in that direction. It sounds like they're running around outside of the UFO now. Of course, we probably still have an outsider in the UFO itself. Not having any luck finding it so far, though. On the move. Moving out. Okay, found the other group of thin men. There are three of them. Two of them took cover by the UFO, and one is hanging out just outside of it. Heading to that location. Gonna have everyone move before I commit to taking any shots. Just in case I would see the outsider or something. Don't really want Eva to move at all because I think the odds of her seeing the outsider 
would be very high. Gonna have the scout kind of double back to here. But I'm gonna do it just a little bit more carefully than that. I'm gonna put you Moving here so you're in a position. corner and you do see anything. Yep, there it is. Alright, well, we know where everything is now. And the gunner could suppress either one of the thin men or the outsider. Okay, so first thing, if I suppress the outsider, you should be okay there. Which lets you take this flanking shot on one of the thin men and then miss an 80% shot. Again, kind of balancing out the crazy luck from earlier, I guess. So we're going to go for a precision shot on this guy and see if that makes up for it. There we go. So that's one of the thin men down. I'm going to move Olive here. Kind of scooting around that way to try to start flanking the thin men that took cover by the UFO. Our gunner is going to suppress the outsider. Keeping him down, Commander. Try to keep him from coming out. You're gonna overwatch in case something moves. As are you. Okay, he's spitting acid on one of the medics. Good news is the medic can move. Outsider's gonna try a fire back on the gunner that is suppressing him and missed. And one of the thin men just didn't do anything and is probably overwatching. Okay, going to move the scout around this way. On the move. Going to scoot this medic just a little bit. I'm kind of amazed that she can't see that from here, but honestly, kind of more important that she's just in full cover right now. This medic may have to just hunker down. I know they can technically move with the acid on them, but I need to be kind of careful because I get the feeling that there's a thin man hanging out somewhere over here that is on Overwatch. So if I do move them, I need to move them back. Which I may do just to get them into full cover. And again, I've got med kits to burn, so I'm just going to remove the acid early because it does affect her mobility and her aim, and I might need her to run up and shoot an outsider momentarily. Headed there now. Getting the infantry in a position where she can hopefully start shooting soon. Going to keep suppressing that outsider, I think. I would like it to stay in the spot that it's in, because it's in low cover right now. If we could just pick off a Thin Men, then we could maybe do something with this. I'm going to bring the sniper around to this side. And steady weapon, trying to get her a better shot on these Thin Men that are over here somewhere. This medic's going to overwatch. And infantry's also going to overwatch. And so is this engineer. Okay, the Thin Men, uh, he broke the suppression, so now that outsider can probably do something and may just pick off the gunner. That is not good. Incoming. Okay, the outsider missed. That's the good news. So she didn't die. We've still got a Thin Men somewhere, probably overwatching. So, Scout, you go first. Affirmative. Okay, he is overwatching, but it didn't trigger. Let's see if the scout can just kill him. That would also take care of it. Okay, wounded him, but did not kill him. I really have, I really hate to have other people break overwatch, but you have enough health that even if it hit you, you'd be okay. 
21%. It missed. Okay, good. I killed the Thin Men that was at full health, so we have one very, very wounded Thin Men and an Outsider. Okay, let's see if the infantry can wound this thing enough that I can send someone in to just kill it. Not looking good so far. Might need you to just overwatch to keep that thing in place. Because unfortunately, the person who would be best off to go and flank it is also the person that I need to have go heal that gunner. Okay, engineer. You're going to come around this side and hopefully just kill that thin man. Thin men are dead. We're down to just the outsider. And we're going to suppress it. And unless it gets insanely lucky, it shouldn't be able to pick anyone off. Sniper is going to move over just a little bit. And I'm thinking that once we open this door she'll actually hopefully be flanking it. I feel commander. I'm taking fire. Okay, need someone to open this door. Might as well be the scout because I want you to move in anyway. Now you're flanking it. You're going to shoot it, get some hollow targeting on it, and somehow you missed. I'm having the best and worst luck this mission. Okay, sniper got a pretty good hit on it. All right, gonna run you in close. You better get it. Nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. I think the person who got hit with the unlucky shots was the gunner both times. Which, I mean, definitely incredibly unlucky for that soldier, but good news is it means only one person actually got wounded. And we have our first sergeant. Let's see. Ranger can actually be pretty helpful for snipers because out of every class, they're the most likely to have to use their pistol at a bad moment, especially if they haven't taken snapshot. However, sharpshooter can also be really nice especially in combination with precision shot because it makes precision shot more likely to actually be critical and, you know, get that extra damage. Plus, it gives them better aim against enemies that are in full cover, which are the ones where you need that aim boost. Um, damn good ground can be really, really good later once you have like archangel armor to either be flying or at least armor that has grappling hooks so that you can get to an elevated position but we don't have those yet so especially for ones that make it to this rank earlier in the game i tend to go with one of these two and it's usually sharpshooter especially for snipers that have taken precision shot Okay, you don't have the best will in the world, so you're going to be an offensive engineer. 
and then you get a really really big will boost but to be honest it's still not enough it's unless you get like a few really good will level ups like that i still think offensive engineer was probably the way to go with you and the gunner with the worst look in the world hopefully you get health because apparently you need it here have hollow targeting good you got health keep doing that and as you can see we got like flight computers and power sources and we got some more alarium and alloys than we normally do from a ufo of that size so we did get more stuff it just meant we had to fight more things and our pilots didn't get any experience because they didn't actually shoot it down Okay, got a second arc thrower again probably still only going to take one per mission but now we have a backup in case it gets damaged yep i need engineers here have the weapon fragments that gets us enough engineers now that we're always glad to have more help even if we don't get any more at the end of this month we'll have enough to start building another satellite uplink which of course means i really need to get that thermo generator started or we're not going to have enough power to build the next uplink so what am i selling because i need 350 to build the generator I really don't like selling alloys, but I'm gonna sell a few. And a little bit of valerium. You tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. It's a breach of protocol. So we can start building this thermogenerator. So the thermal generator will be ready in 15 days, which will be shortly before the council report that guarantees us the last engineer we need. And so hopefully at the start of next month, we can start building another satellite uplink and hopefully a couple of satellites to go with it, which is probably going to wipe our money out again. Oh boy.